Sevenis receiving students and teachers. Thank you, you may sit down. All right, Sevenis and receiving students. I'd like you all to look up here. Receiving students, Sevenis. By looking at this pattern, all right, I'd like you to give the rule. Now, <clears throat> who can tell me what do these numbers represent? Receiving students, seven is. What do these numbers represent? One, two, and three. One, two, three. Receiving students. What do these numbers represent? Win. Represent the boxes on the curtain. Okay, thank you, Win. Win said the boxes. Yes? Boxes and curtains. Can you see any curtains here? Okay, good try, we not not curtains. What what can we say about these? Sticks or what, what do they form? Squares. Okay, receiving students? Let's say they form squares. Can you see? Okay, we have one square here. Alright. Number one represents how many squares? One. one. Number two represents how many squares? Two. two. Number three? three, three squares, okay? So the numbers, they represent square. They represent the number of squares. Okay, now as you can see that we've used, um, we've used sticks to, f to form the squares, right? So how many sticks form one square? Receiving students, how many sticks Form one square. Okay, four sticks. And so on. now, who can tell us the rule? Receiving students, tell your teacher what is the rule? The rule for this pattern here. All right, John. Starts at one and goes up by one each end. Okay, thank you, John. All right. John says starts with one and goes up by one each time. Is it correct? Yes. Seven is receiving students? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. You start at one and you go, go up by one each time. Is, can you see, is, there, is, is that the rule here for this pattern? No. Okay, good try, John. Clement? Start with four and add four each time. Three, three each time. Okay, thank you, Clement. All right, Clement said, starts at four and add three each time. Seven is and receiving students. Do you agree with Clement's answer? Start set four and add three each time. Okay, let's see if, if um, Clement is correct. All right, every time, receiving students, sorry. Okay, we have four. We start off with four. Huh? Okay, four for one matchstick. And then two, for two, um, two, sorry, two squares. How many, how many sticks all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, okay. So four plus how many gives you seven? Three, four plus three. Okay, let's see how many sticks make up three squares. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Ten sticks makes up three. So seven here makes up two. Two, two squares. Seven plus how many? Three. three gives you or makes up three squares with ten sticks. So his, uh, the rule was, Clement's rule was correct. Start with four and add three each time. Okay, receiving students and seven is? Okay, so how many sticks will the next pattern have? The next pattern, so here pattern one, pattern two, pattern three, okay, pattern four. Receiving students, how many sticks will the next pattern have? Now you already know the rule, okay? You already know the rule for this, this pattern here. Okay, Ruthie. Receiving students, tell your teacher, what will the next pattern have? 13. 13, okay, Ruthie says 13. Now, how did you get 13? 10 plus three. 10 plus three, that's what Ruthie said. Is she correct? Yes. Okay, so here, because of the, because pattern three has how many squares? Yes. Okay, it has three squares. And how many sticks make up those three squares? There are 10 sticks that make up the three squares. So in order to form the next, the next four squares, how, how many sticks are you going to add? How many sticks will you add? Three. 10 plus three gives you 13 sticks and it will make up four, four squares. So 10 plus three, 13 sticks, okay, receiving students? Because you already know the rule, start at four, add three each time, okay? So let's look at today's topic, receiving students and seven is. Our topic for today is on sequence, sequences in diagrams, right? Sequences in diagrams. So here we are using pictures or we are using diagrams to form sequences. Okay, so lesson number 90, receiving teachers and students. All right. Okay, for this, when you're using this the sequence, when you put the <coughs> pattern, you can come up with a table, all right? You can come up with a table. You can come up with a table to spot the sequence or to identify the sequence. So you can say one square, how many matchsticks? Four. Four matchsticks or four sticks. Number of squares, two squares, how many sticks? Seven. Seven. Okay. And it continues. All right. So it's, you can identify it easily in a table form. So if you have it, they say you have it like this, or you can also put it in a table form to identify the sequence easily. All right, we're going to move on to our, our learning activity. Our first learning activity, receiving students and seven E's. All right, here I have a, a diagram, okay, receiving students. And number one, it says draw or make, okay, the next two patterns in this sequence, all right? Here, this sequence is in, is in a form of a diagram, all right? Now, it says, 
Number one, draw the next two patterns in this sequence. Now receiving students, I reminded you in your previous lesson to get uh, papers or colored pencils or crayons. And I'd like you to use those A4 papers, all right, to draw the next two patterns in this sequence, okay? So seven is receiving students, you have, if you have your papers there in front of you, I'd like you, okay, in your groups or in pairs, you draw the next two patterns in this sequence. Now we'll just go through one, two, three, four. That's the first pattern, pattern one. And then you can see the next pattern, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Third pattern, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're going to draw the next two patterns. So if you, you have your paper stay in front of you, receiving students, seven is. I'd like you to quickly draw the next two, the next two patterns. Okay, just show you one. Next two. You can use your, you can use the biros if you want to. Use the papers in front of you receiving students. Not enough. Receiving students, if you don't have crayons, you can use your biros or your pencils, but make sure you draw them a bit bigger onto your paper. Okay, number two, it says, explain how you got the next pattern, all right? Explain how to get the next pattern.
Okay, have we finished seven is and receiving students? All right, let's just go through. All right. So you were to draw the next two patterns in this sequence here. So what were the next two? What would be the next two patterns? Can anyone show show the class what they did, what they drew? Receiving students? You can show to the class what you drew. Um, let's have Tara. Okay, Tara. Okay, seven is receiving students. I'd like you to look at Tara's uh, work. How did you get those two patterns? Add three. Okay. So you added three. Okay, so you added three. All right. So let's show you show your pattern. So the first one, how many? How many dots in that Y? The first one. Thirteen. Thirteen? Okay, the others did you get thirteen? Yes. Okay, and what about the next one? 16. There's 16. Uh. So make sure you count, okay, like this one here, receiving students. So for this pattern, the next two patterns, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, 13. The next pattern. How many did we say? 16. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. So what Tara said was add 3 each time. And you start off with how many? 4. Okay, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And you add three each time, just like our previous um, learning activity, our previous example. Okay, receiving students and seven is. All right. Um, later, later on, we'll collect. I'll collect yours. Same with the receiving students. Receiving teachers, you collect the, their work. Later. Now, I'd like us to complete our exercise quickly. Receiving students and seven is. All right, you, on, you only have this exercise. Number one, A, B, and C. Here you are going to draw the next two patterns in this sequence. B, how many matches are there in each of the five patterns? And C, predict how many matches will be in the 10th pattern. Okay, so seven is please, receiving students, I'd like us to Complete our exercise here on the screen. Wait. 
Gut. Okay, for this exercise, for number one, you can draw them in your exercise books or in your workbook or on the papers that I gave you. Receiving students, you can do that exercise in your exercise books.
feet. Okay, seven is and receiving students, we should have finished by now. <clears throat> All right, seven is and receiving students, we're going to correct our exercise now. Okay. All right. Number one, A, you are to draw the next two patterns in the sequence, okay? In, this, in that sequence. So receiving students, what would your, what would the next two patterns look like? Okay, can anyone show us, or show to the class that the next two patterns that they have drawn? Seven is uh, receiving students. Seven is would like to show us what they have drawn. The next what the next two patterns would look like. Anyone here? Manuel, did you draw something? Okay. That's okay. All right, Donald. Okay, Donald will just show show us what he what he what he drew for the next the two patterns. Okay, receiving students, do if you if you drew your patterns on a piece of paper on an A4 paper, you can show to the class show to the class what you drew, okay? And the students will confirm their drawings with yours. Okay, so Donald, can you just show us what you drew? What, what, how do your next, pet, your next two patterns look like? Start by three and add two each time. Okay, thank you, Donald, all right? I'm sure you others agree with um, Donald's answer, receiving students. Okay, so your pattern should, should look something like this. Huh? You did something like this? Then you are correct. So every time, remember, pattern one starts with three, okay? Pattern one starts with three. Pattern two, there are two triangles. So one, two, three, four, five. There are five matchsticks. So three plus how many gives you five? Two. two. So here pattern three, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven matchsticks. So from three, five, seven. So every time we are adding two. So the pattern in this, Add two, start at three and you add two each time. So pattern four and five, you should have something like this. So pattern four, you have one, two, three, four triangles. Pattern five, one, two, three, four, five triangles. Pattern four, how many matchsticks receiving students? 11? 11. Nine. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, pattern five, how many? 11. Nine plus two is 11. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so um, B, how many matches are there in each of the five patterns? How many matches are there in each of the five patterns? 11, three, five, Seven, nine, eleven. Okay. 
C, predict how many matches will be in the 10th pattern. How many matches will be in the 10th pattern? Receiving students, 22. Some of you are saying 22. Some of you are saying 19. Okay, I'd like you to, for, for that, for C, I'd like you to do that, receiving students. I'd like you to do that for your homework. And your receiving, your teacher will correct it for, correct it later with you, okay? Receiving students. Same with you, seven is. Complete that for homework and we'll correct that later on. How many matches will be in the 10th pattern? <coughs> now again, when we are, we can use sequences with pictures, all right? We can describe sequences using pictures or, or diagrams, okay? You, not, you do not only use sequences with numbers, but you also use sequences with diagrams or pictures. So I'd like you to just copy these two main points down, seven E's and receiving students, your summary for today's lesson. All right, so those are two summary points for today's lesson. When you understand how a sequence grows, for example, like this, using diagrams, you can predict the unknown terms, all right? So for example, you can, when you drew this pattern one, two, and three, you already knew, okay, the sequence, you could easily, identify pattern four and five. All right, that has brought us to the end of our lesson, seven is and receiving students. Our key phrase for today's lesson, sequences in diagrams. And in our next lesson, seven is and receiving students, you'll be looking at function machines, lesson number 91, okay? And your materials needed for that lesson receiving teachers. Thank you very much, 70s and receiving students, for your participation in today's lesson.